Good morning, this is Joyce and I am here with the first video leading into the Gorgeous Girl collaboration for 2018. Uh, you, we, it will go for the whole year. Each month will be a different project, a different theme. Uh, it will be posted on the second Sunday of each month. So please be sure to come by and check us all out. There will be links to all the ladies who are participating in the box below. And this first video will be the collaborations introduction. And I am going to show you all of the products that I have pulled together, at least some of them that I have pulled together to use. It'll, it will include all of the stamps that I recently purchased. Um, and that's just my little workbook there. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I am going to pull up. I'm not going to set my box. This is my container. And it is on the heavy side, but that is it. So I'm going to pull it out of the way. And I am going to show you some of the things that I have included. Believe me, this is not all. I will be using stickers and what have you. So, but let me show you some of the stamps that I've got. I think I went a little weird and crazy with that. Uh, you be sure and check out Jamie. And so, first off, I recently purchased the mini stamps and I've got number 15 black star 36 rainy days ladybird number five number 24 heartfelt number nine I gave you my heart um, it looks extreme but you know with all the new girls in my life I will be getting a lot of use out of these number 53 uh, Sugar and Spice from the heart number 33 and number 57 Little Heart. So those are the minis. And I came across my in my collection. I have two from years ago when I first started um, first heard about Gorgeous Girls. And one is called Perfect Friend and she comes with a little kitty. And the other one is Just a Girl. And these are by Susan Wolcott, 2009. And they originally started out as Sugar Nelly Stamps. Uh, and I don't know if they're in business or not, but that is where the Gorgeous Girls originated. And so I have found those two. And then I have some of the larger ones that come in sets. And I have this one, which I just got. And it, I showed it in a haul video from Blitzy, my last one. Uh, this one is Little Fishes, Heartfelt, The Hatter, and then I already had several in my collection, so I have The Winter's Night, I have On Top of the World, I have You Brought Me Love, and that one has a little squirrel in there, little animals. This one is the pretend friend has a toy doggy or wolf or whatever. And this one is I love you little rabbit. So those are my stamps. And we're going to move that out the way. I have all these 8x8 eight eight paper pads that I don't get much use out of. Stuff I bought just because it was on clearance. But these are pastels colors. So... I thought that would be good paper for whatever I decide to do. Um, this one is a pad from K and Company with lots of scraps. I've used it a lot, but it has a lot like butterfly papers, so you never know. I may need some black and white in my life. I found this um, cardstock, which everything I'm going to use, the papers will be from this. Uh, collection. This is just some basil cardstock that I bought and like I said it's just been on the shelf So I, and a lot of it's textured so I will be using that. These are some metallic papers that have been in my stash. You know what? 
I rarely used them. I always looking for metallics. Go out and buy it, and I got every color I could want almost. So I will definitely be using those. And this is a pad. Like I said, I used to buy 8x8 and then never use it. So these have the Swiss dots. So I love that texture. And it also comes in all those different colors. So I will be using those. And then I pulled out Mariposa. Mariposa, I love that paper. Uh, I know one of our themes is butterflies. So it has butterflies for days. And I am going to be using this because I have the 12 by 12. I have this and I also think I have the 4 by 6. So I will be using these papers. So those are the papers that I pull. I pulled out a few. Uh, don't know about this, but it was out. It was something I bought on clearance recently. So I put that in there. Then I have this. Uh, Spellbinder the Garden Gate which I plan to use and then I pulled out this die so I'm going to pull a few more dies that I can use and that and then I also have two of the decoupage packs which I showed those in my haul videos um, and these are great because they can be used for actually making um, cards and stuff with this pack without using the dolls so I thought that was cool I really wanted some of the paper but I was unable to find any so that is the supplies but I will also be pulling out some um, ribbons and trims you know and other things to use embellishments as you can see I didn't add any embellishments so far but I will be pulling some of those out. And, you know, and as we go along, I will just pull stuff from my stash. So that is what I will be using. And like I say, I will put a, a link to all of the ladies in the box below. And please be sure to come back and check us out on uh, the 14th of January for our first actual project. Looking forward to seeing you. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, what else? Is there anything else? Don't forget to go by and check out Jamie, and we'll see you soon. Bye.